Joey Adelman. How the hell are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for taking out some time and being on the show to talk about competing at All Truck Challenge. Uh, I was looking up the stats. You you were there last year with your truck. Yes. How'd it go? Uh, we were really happy with the way it came out. I uh, I ended up fifth, uh, so got a trophy, got a check. Uh, we were shooting for top five, and uh, we were we were, uh, we were pretty stoked to be there. <laughs> Well, I noticed as I was looking through the stats, you guys had a really, really consistent performance throughout the event. There wasn't one spot where you were like, oh, hey, we really just built the truck to the sled puller. We really only built the truck to drag race. Uh, so it was nice to see you guys just consistently being in that like top two, top three, top four spots, kind of all the way through and keeping it together. Yeah, I, I really think uh, in the, I mean, that's kind of what we were after. We, I mean, we we weren't the. I'd say our our low thing was probably the uh, dyno. I mean, we uh, tried to build a, a a truck that runs good and competes good and uh, makes it through everything. I mean, uh, it it kind of was a sled pulling truck to begin with, and we we kind of kind of geared around liking this thing in the street or all truck challenge now, and uh, that's kind of what we built it for, and uh, still still did some sled pulling a lot around home with it and stuff, but uh, yeah, we kind of kind of build it to kind of bring it there well that's awesome when man. we give went in uh, 20 yes. sorry <laughs> give our listeners a rundown of what your truck is tell us about the truck and uh what you've what you've modified on it um it's a 04 loy crew cap short bed duramax uh i've owned it for shoot, over 10 years now i bought it i mean 100 percent bone stock and started out with oh i just want to uh, tune in and lift pump and have a street truck or, you know, good driving truck. I, I used to, uh, tow with it quite a bit. Uh, and then it kind of went towards, uh, kind of work stock around Northeast Ohio. Uh, you know, it was a, had a drop in turbo, uh, and, uh, was like, Oh, 600 horse. I'll be good. The next, thing you know, it was 800 horse. I'll be good. And then now, uh, uh, we're North of a thousand a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, got twin S four hundreds on it. Uh, built Wagler short block in the bottom end. Uh, Two hundred over injectors, a fourteen mil pump, uh, and everything to go with it. Really, man, this is like the quintessential LLY build. I mean, <laughs> it's really it's something that yeah, you know, you you've got it built to the point where you can get it out on the street and still make the drive. I noticed you guys uh, got the full points on the drive, so you were out there for that, uh, and then still also were able to to really kick ass. And like I said, just about every event. What what's got you motivated yeah. to this event? Well, why why put your time and effort and build a truck to go do this? Uh. I don't know. We, we, we just enjoy it. it. It is very close to home for us. We can be there in about, uh, less than an hour <laughs> to drag wave 42 there. Uh, and, uh, just, I mean, I have a pretty busy schedule and, uh, it's like, you can go do all these events in the, in one weekend instead of, you know, a, a truck pool here that you got to drive a couple hours to or drag race there. And, uh, it's just close to home and do a lot of events all in one weekend. And, we uh we just have been having a lot of fun going. I got a lot of friends that come with me and family and my wife and they all come for the weekend. It's uh and we just have a really good time doing it. That's awesome, man. I always love to hear that. You know, when we can start getting the families involved and getting people out there and really just having a good time, right? I mean, hey, you guys kicked ass, but you know, at the end of the day, it's like you really went there because because it was something that that you you're passionate about doing. From what it sounds like. Um, can you give us a rundown of what you've changed on the build since last year? What did you learn last year that you're going to implement here in 2021? Um, <laughs> honestly, I haven't really done a whole, whole lot. Uh, we are going to go tire size higher for uh, sled pulling. And, uh, we haven't really done, I haven't got to do really a whole lot with the truck, uh, it's been a it's been a really busy summer. I actually have a, a baby on the way. Um, it's just uh, it's going in about the same way it was last year. Changing some tire setups a little bit. I had to I had to put a tranny in it after last year, so it kind of got put on the back burner. And 
uh, I've kind of been flood pulling a little bit here lately and just uh, trying to tweak a few things on it. But, yeah, not a, not a whole lot of changes for, from last year to this year, really. That's awesome. I love that confidence of going in. Hey, it was steady. It was smooth last year. Let's just keep it steady and smooth. Maybe push it a little bit further, right, when you can. Um, yeah, yeah. Your 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 background. I, I I've heard you you reference sled pull, and obviously you're in Ohio. There, it's big sled pull country. Uh, do you get a lot of time to get out and do drag racing? Do you get a lot of time to get out and do the dirt drags? Um, I I try to more, uh, I, but no, I don't really. Uh, I like I said I was always a sled pulling truck. Like that's what I like to do with it. I I like to be able to drive it, but uh, I. I haven't done a whole lot of competition, uh, sled pulling, a little bit of dirt dragging, but not a ton, or a, a, not a lot of competition uh, drag racing, uh, right. a little bit of dirt dragging, but yeah, not a ton. Uh, yeah, I wish I could do more of it, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I haven't. I don't think I, I haven't drag raced it since last year. Oh, good. Left, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. It, it, hey, listen, man, it's one of those sports that, you, you know, if you have a group of friends that love yeah. to go, it's a lot easier. If all your friends are out sled pulling, generally, I get it. You know, we go out sled pulling too. Um, right. It, it's the, the, a lot of guys talk about the strategy and just about everybody's strategy is trying to keep the truck together over time. But I know even from talking to Tim and some of the other competitors this year, um, the dyno is one of those that either you go to a lot of dyno events and you have experience of how to run a dyno or you don't. Uh, where do you fall in this category? Cause I saw the, the, you were like right on 1150 last year, which got you, I want to say 400 out of 500 points. You, you were, you're near the top of the pack. Um, how did it go last year? What are you going to do different this year? So I, I, uh, I had some help with the, uh, uh, some guys that have a dyno at, at at Randall's performance and out there in uh, Gladstone, Illinois, uh, where uh, my good buddies from that uh, helped help build the truck, Scotty Hinshaw, and uh, that's his brother-in-law, is Brian Randall, out there, and he uh, we put her on the dyno, and that was actually when he got to the event last year, and they were like, "You need to load this thing a little harder," and uh, we got a. Uh, finally got a good number on the last run there and i think uh we're gonna start out with uh not on the fifth pool in 15 minutes try to load it as hard as we can and maybe uh do that on the first one <laughs> i like that <laughs> i like that yeah yeah i think the first the first will run last year it like put down like 850 or something and we were kind of like what uh and uh we just kept loading and harder and harder and uh the number just kept going up so yeah, I made a made a solid number, but it was pretty heat soaked by the time it did. Uh, try to try to make that big solid number, I guess, on the first pass would be be my best thing and get it off the dyno. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. I've seen this strategy more and more at the big multi event competitions now. Right, where like, hey, we're not here just for a dyno day. Like, we're gonna have to keep using this truck, even potentially today, if I remember the schedule correctly. Um, a lot of spray a little spray i mean what what's your yeah that's yeah that's no spray uh no 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 nitrous on the truck at all we uh kind of were uh yeah fuel only really uh we've talked about maybe putting a little spray on it this year uh just because the dyno event is last i think that's going to change a lot of guys uh how they're going to go into some things sure. uh but uh, more than likely, yeah, probably none. We'd uh, kind of fuel only. I, I, I like like to keep the truck together. If I have it there, I'm scared I'll try to use it for other other events there. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I ain't just out there to blow blow the truck up. You know, I try. I like to try to keep it together. It's a, a fun truck. Uh, I just yeah, <laughs> no spray. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. Going really going for it without the spray at this competition is one of those where you got to have confidence that, that you can keep pushing the line in all of the other, yeah. right? all of the other uh, events. Um, I'd imagine you were fifth last year. So you're looking to move up into a top three spot this year. Is that safe to guess? Yeah. I, that's awesome. That's what we're after. Uh, yeah. I think to do that, you gotta be, you gotta be, you know, 
top of the pack on a couple of events, but I, I mean, just finishing them all and uh, being consistent, I think is the, the way to do it. I like that. Keep okay. the truck together for the whole weekend. <laughs> That's that's the hard part, right? Is we, we saw a lot of trucks in, in any type of event, uh, where, Hey man, you may have built the biggest horsepower truck, uh, but keeping it together all, three days in a row of a lot of hard competition. Uh, that's really where the, where, where you're going to find the winner. Uh, if you're in the top three, who else do you think is on the podium with you? Who's up? Who else do you think will end up in the top three at the end of this? Well, I'd love to see my two best friends with me, Scotty Hinshaw and Kurt Hamilton, but uh, <laughs> that, that'd be the that'd be the hopeful the hopeful wishes. I mean, uh, you know, Kurt, we grew up together. Uh, this is his first year for the event with another Duramax, so uh, we've kind of been building the trucks together since we've had them. We've pretty much had them the same length of time, and uh, yeah, that'd be awesome for him to be up there with me and uh, Scotty too. Uh, yeah. Uh, but there's definitely a lot of good trucks out there. Uh, see, I like it. I think, I think the three amigos sweeping the podium would be a lot of fun. I think we'd all love to see that. (laughs) Yeah, it sure would be. (laughs) All right, Joey, who would you like to give a shout out to? Uh, Scotty Hinshaw. I mean, he helped me build the truck. I mean, we pretty much built it all out of my garage. Uh, uh, he's done a lot with the truck and has a lot of time into it. Uh, all my buddies that helped me go, Dustin and Dalton, uh, my wife, Emily, for letting me spend so much time in the garage with the truck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, Joey, thank you so much for joining our listeners today. We're going to be keeping an eye on you at the event. Uh, Diesel Performance Podcast fans, make sure you jump on over to the Fans of Diesel Performance Podcast Facebook group. Uh, We'll be putting up uh, some pictures of the event throughout the weekend uh, and following the action along closely. For today, this has been Paul Wilson. Thank you so much for listening.